Job had prayed. You see, you, you, you didn't realize that your prayer made sense. You didn't realize that praying for somebody else when you're going through something, pushing pause on your circumstance, on your dilemma, and shifting the weight, the energy, the prayer, the power to somebody else, you didn't realize the power that it had. Look at it, verse 10, for yourself. It says, after Job had prayed, I know you're wondering what happened. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord made him prosperous again. You've been looking to prosper. Come on, God says, listen, I, I got some issues with your friends. Uh, there's some things I want to deal with them concerning, but they need somebody who's, who's standing in righteousness because only the prayers of the righteous avail. And this is when they've been trying to pray and can't get a prayer through and ain't nothing happening and they're starting to lose faith and they're starting to doubt the religion and everything else. God is saying, I need you to pray for them. Because when you pray, things happen. When you pray, the atmosphere around changes for them. When you pray, our opening in heaven begins to shine. Come on now. And so here it is, verse 10. After Job had prayed. Listen, there's an aftermath to your prayer. Listen what happened after he prayed for his friends. The Lord made him prosperous again. Just when you lost everything. Just when they took everything. God says, you start praying for somebody else and I'm going to make you prosperous again. I'm going to replace everything they took. I'm going to restore you with more. Look at somebody say, with more. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm going to prosper him again. And gave him twice as much as he had before. Oh my God. Somebody say, get ready. Come on, come on. Somebody say, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. God's getting ready to prosper me more than I've ever prospered before. But look at somebody say, it starts with prayer for somebody else. Come on, I know you don't want to pray for them. I know you look at them and you say, listen, can't prayer change them? Can't nothing change them? But God says, just get tired of praying. It's going to require more than your faith to make you pray. It's going to require perseverance to pray. Why? Because after I've prayed, God's going to restore me. Does that give you motivation now? Come on now. If you pray for them, God says, I'm getting ready to double. Hallelujah. In a good way. I'm getting ready to put back in a good way. God says, I'm getting ready to restore you. But it starts with prayer for somebody else. Yeah.